Welcome, Rare Gems. Why Narcissists Hate Sigma Females to Their Bone Let's get one thing straight. Narcissists love being in control. They live for attention, admiration, and people feeding their inflated egos. But when a Sigma female steps into the room, it's game over. Narcissists hate Sigma females with a passion not because they're mean or combative, but because they're impossible to control. A Sigma female doesn't care about your grand displays or your desperate need for validation. She's too busy minding her own business, setting boundaries, and quietly dismantling every trick a narcissist tries to pull. It's like watching someone try to tame a lion with a piece of string. Useless, hilarious, and honestly a bit sad. Narcissists can't stand how effortlessly a Sigma female sees through their act, and it drives them absolutely nuts. It's not just that they can't win her over, it's that she doesn't even bother to play the game. And for a narcissist, that's a fate worse than defeat. Stay tuned to find out why these self-absorbed individuals absolutely loathe Sigma females and why the feeling is definitely not mutual. Let's get started. Rare Gems For a deeper understanding, I encourage you to watch the video all the way through and drop your thoughts in the comments. Number 1. Sigma females expose the narcissist's empty core. Narcissists are experts at creating a perfect image. They build a shiny, polished facade that screams confidence and superiority. But behind that flashy exterior, it's all smoke and mirrors. Deep down, there's nothing of real substance, just insecurity and fear. Most people fall for the act, but not Sigma females. Their sharp instincts and no-nonsense approach make them masters at seeing what's really going on beneath the surface. When a Sigma female interacts with a narcissist, it's like holding up a mirror to their empty core. She doesn't buy into their over-the-top displays of importance or charm. Instead, she quietly observes, breaks down the act, and exposes the hollow shell underneath. And the best part? She doesn't even need to say a word. The narcissist feels it. Her presence alone makes them question their own carefully constructed image. Narcissists hate this. They can't stand being seen for who they really are. Fragile, insecure, and full of contradictions. It's like being caught without a mask at a masquerade ball. Sigma females don't have to tear them apart. The narcissist's own reflection in her eyes does all the work. Being exposed in this way drives them absolutely insane because they have no idea how to handle it. They can't manipulate someone who sees through their game, and worse, someone who just doesn't care. It leaves the narcissist spiraling, desperate to regain control that was never really theirs to begin with. Number 2. Sigma females don't fall for the narcissist's sob story. Narcissists are masters at playing the victim card. When things don't go their way, they'll whip out a sob story so convincing it could win an Oscar. They do this to make others feel sorry for them and in turn manipulate people into giving them the sympathy and attention they crave. It's one of their favorite tricks, and it works on most people, except Sigma females. Sigma females have a built-in radar for emotional manipulation, and they can spot a narcissist's victim routine from a mile away. When a narcissist starts spinning their tale of woe, looking for sympathy, the Sigma female doesn't take the bait. She knows it's just another attempt to gain control. Instead of falling for the tears and drama, she keeps her distance and stays emotionally detached, which absolutely enrages the narcissist. What frustrates the narcissist even more is that they can't deceive the Sigma female like they do with everyone else. She's not going to rush in and try to save them or offer endless comfort. She knows better. The narcissist used to people being drawn into their web of lies and manipulation, suddenly finds themselves exposed and powerless. They can't handle that someone sees through their act and refuses to play along. For the narcissist, losing the ability to control someone through their sob story is a massive blow to their ego. The Sigma female's refusal to engage leaves them fuming, unable to manipulate her or anyone in her orbit. Number 3. Sigma female independence invalidates the narcissist's superiority complex. Narcissists love to feel like they're on top, like they're the smartest, most important person in the room. Their whole identity is built around this idea that they're somehow superior to everyone else. They expect others to look up to them, admire them, and play into this illusion of importance. But then a Sigma female enters the picture, and suddenly, 
that carefully constructed superiority complex starts to crumble. Sigma females don't care about playing social hierarchies or engaging in power games. They live by their own standards and don't need anyone's approval to validate who they are. This complete independence makes the narcissist's obsession with being better look ridiculous. While the narcissist is busy trying to prove how superior they are, the Sigma female is busy doing her own thing, completely unfazed by their self-promotion. She doesn't need to compete, and that's exactly what drives the narcissist insane. To the narcissist, this independence feels like a direct challenge to their fragile ego. If someone doesn't acknowledge their superiority, does it even exist? The Sigma female's lack of interest in boosting their sense of importance feels like an insult. It makes their inflated self-image seem irrelevant, even laughable. No matter how hard they try to assert dominance, the Sigma female remains detached and unimpressed, leaving the narcissist scrambling to regain the validation they crave but can't get. In the end, their superiority complex falls apart in the face of her quiet, unwavering independence. Thank you, Rare Gems, for being a valued subscriber. Your continued support is incredibly important to us and inspires us to keep producing meaningful content. We truly appreciate your engagement and support. Number 4. Sigma Females Challenge the narcissist's sense of entitlement. Narcissists walk through life with a massive sense of entitlement, expecting everyone to bow down and cater to their every whim. They believe they deserve the best of everything, whether it's attention, respect, or privileges, and they demand special treatment as if it's their birthright. But then, they run into a Sigma female, and that's where their delusions hit a brick wall. Sigma females don't care about a narcissist's inflated sense of self-worth. In fact, they couldn't be less impressed by it. Instead of feeding into their entitlement, Sigma females treat them just like everyone else, sometimes even less if they sense manipulation. To a narcissist, this is an unforgivable offense. They thrive on being treated as superior. And when a Sigma female brushes off their demands for special treatment, it's like a personal insult to their entire identity. What really drives the narcissist mad is that they can't manipulate or charm their way into her good graces. Sigma females see through the charade, and their refusal to give in or play along exposes the narcissist's fragility. This sense of being equal or worse, being ignored, feels like a slap in the face to their ego. They can't stand that someone refuses to acknowledge their supposed greatness, and the more they try to assert their entitlement, the more the Sigma female calmly disregards it leaving them fuming and powerless in a situation they can't control. Number 5. Narcissists Can't Handle Sigma Female Quiet Confidence Narcissists thrive on being the loudest in the room. They need to be seen, heard, and admired constantly. Their entire sense of self-worth is tied to these grand displays of power and dominance. But then comes the Sigma female, who walks into the room with a different kind of energy. Quiet Confidence she doesn't need to shout or make a scene to be noticed. Her calm, collected presence speaks volumes without her having to say a word. And that drives narcissists absolutely crazy. You see, narcissists rely on noise, chaos, and attention to feel in control. They need people to react to them, to feed their egos. But the Sigma female? She doesn't play that game. She's in control of herself and her environment, and she doesn't need to prove it to anyone. This kind of quiet confidence highlights something narcissists would rather ignore, their own deep insecurities. When faced with someone who doesn't need validation, who isn't moved by their bluster or arrogance, the narcissist feels small. It's like trying to impress someone who's already seen every trick in the book and isn't the least bit amused. They can't handle it. The more calm and grounded she is, the more unhinged they become. It's a confidence they can't compete with, one they don't understand, and it leaves them frustrated and powerless. A Sigma female's quiet strength exposes the cracks in the narcissist's carefully crafted armor and they can't stand it. Number 6. Sigma females don't engage in drama, a narcissist's lifeblood. Narcissists live for drama. It's like air to them. They thrive on stirring up conflict, manipulating emotions, and watching people dance around their chaos. It's what keeps their egos fed and their need for control satisfied. But when a Sigma female comes along, all of that changes. She doesn't do drama. 
In fact, she avoids it like the plague. She's not interested in emotional games or petty conflicts, and that's where the narcissist's nightmare begins. When a narcissist tries to bait a Sigma female into an argument or some over-the-top emotional scene, they hit a brick wall. She simply won't bite. She sees the manipulation from a mile away and walks in the other direction. And this frustrates the narcissist to no end. They're used to people reacting, getting flustered, and playing into their hands. But with a Sigma female, it's like trying to start a fire with wet wood. No spark, no drama, no control. What really drives the narcissist mad is that without drama, they have nothing to work with. It's like cutting off their oxygen supply. The more the Sigma female remains calm and indifferent, the more suffocated the narcissist feels. They can't manipulate someone who refuses to engage, and they definitely can't stand being ignored. For a narcissist, that's the ultimate defeat, being left powerless in a situation they thought they controlled. And that's why they can't stand Sigma females. They take away the one thing a narcissist needs to survive. Number 7. Sigma females refuse to be the narcissist's puppet. Narcissists love pulling strings. They get a kick out of controlling people, making them react, and manipulating situations to suit their ego. Most people fall into this trap, playing the roles the narcissist has carefully laid out for them. But when it comes to a Sigma female, all of that goes out the window. She's not wired to be anyone's puppet. She operates entirely on her own terms, and trying to control her is like trying to catch smoke. Completely pointless. The Sigma female isn't interested in playing games or letting someone else dictate her actions. She's fiercely independent, and the moment she feels someone is trying to pull her strings, she simply cuts them. This is a nightmare for the narcissist. They're used to people reacting, bending to their will, and needing their approval. But with a Sigma female, there's none of that. She makes her own decisions and couldn't care less about the narcissist's attempts to manipulate her. What really drives the narcissist crazy is the sense of helplessness that comes with it. They're used to feeling powerful, in control, and pulling all the shots. But with a Sigma female, they find themselves at a complete loss. No matter what they do, they can't get a grip on her. She's untouchable in that sense, and it infuriates them. The harder they try to control her, the more she slips away, leaving the narcissist frustrated, powerless, and questioning their own so-called power. Number 8 they don't feed the narcissist's ego. Narcissists thrive on attention, admiration, and endless praise. Their egos are like bottomless pits that need constant feeding. They surround themselves with people who boost their sense of superiority, always fishing for compliments and expecting others to inflate their grandiosity. But when they cross paths with a Sigma female, things get rough for them. She's simply not interested in stroking anyone's ego especially not one as fragile and needy as a narcissist's. Sigma females operate on their own wavelength. They don't feel the need to prop up someone's false sense of importance just to get along. Narcissists expect admiration as a given. But the Sigma female doesn't play by those rules. She's not impressed by empty displays of grandeur or self-promotion. When the narcissist tries to show off or demands recognition, she either ignores it or offers a polite but detached response. This lack of enthusiasm sends the narcissist spiraling. What makes it worse for the narcissist is the realization that no matter how hard they try to flaunt their accomplishments or status, the Sigma female just isn't buying it. Her indifference is like a dagger to their inflated sense of self. For a narcissist, not getting the admiration they think they deserve feels like a personal attack. The more they try to get the Sigma female to feed their ego, the more frustrated and powerless they become. And the more she holds back, the more it drives them wild, exposing just how much they rely on others to keep their egos afloat. Number 9. Sigma female emotional detachment frustrates the narcissist's manipulative tactics. Narcissists thrive on emotional manipulation. It's their favorite tool for getting what they want. Whether through guilt trips, playing the victim, or pushing emotional buttons to control someone's reactions. But when they come across a Sigma female, they find their tactics falling flat. Sigma females have mastered the art of emotional detachment, and this is exactly what drives narcissists up the wall. A Sigma female isn't going to fall for guilt trips or emotional blackmail. 
She sees through these mind games and stays calm and collected in the face of manipulation. The narcissist might throw a tantrum or try to play on her sympathies, but she remains unbothered, standing firm in her own emotional boundaries. This lack of reaction frustrates the narcissist to no end. They expect to provoke an emotional response, to see tears, anger, or some form of vulnerability, but all they get is cool indifference. What makes this even more unbearable for the narcissist is that their usual power dynamic is flipped on its head. They can't control or manipulate someone who doesn't react to their emotional bait, leaving them feeling powerless. The more they try to push, the less they get, and this makes them spiral further into frustration. A Sigma female's emotional detachment isn't just a defense mechanism, it's a direct challenge to the narcissist's manipulative tactics, leaving them without their favorite weapon and no way to regain control. Number 10. Sigma females are narcissists' uncrackable code. Narcissists thrive on control. They manipulate others with ease, playing mind games, pushing emotional buttons, and pulling strings like master puppeteers. But when it comes to Sigma females, they hit a wall. Sigma females are like an unbreakable code completely immune to the narcissist's tactics. They operate on a different wavelength, one that a narcissist can't even begin to understand. Their emotional independence means they don't crave approval or validation, which are usually the main tools narcissists use to keep others under their thumb. What truly frustrates the narcissist is the unpredictability of Sigma females. They don't follow typical patterns of behavior or react in the expected ways. While most people fall into the narcissist's traps, getting defensive, seeking their approval or being drawn into drama, the Sigma female stays calm, detached and unaffected. She doesn't respond to manipulation because she sees right through it. And even worse for the narcissist, she doesn't care. Her emotional distance strips the narcissist of their power leaving them flailing for control that just isn't there. The Sigma female's refusal to play the game leaves the narcissist feeling powerless. They can't wrap their heads around why she's not falling in line or scrambling for their attention like others do. It's as if she's playing chess while they're still trying to master checkers, and that drives them absolutely mad. The harder they try to crack her, the more impenetrable she becomes, an unsolvable mystery they'll never figure out. Number 11. Sigma females shine without stealing the spotlight. Narcissists crave attention like it's their lifeblood. They need to be in the spotlight at all times, soaking up admiration and validation from everyone around them. But when a Sigma female walks into the room, something shifts. She doesn't have to do anything flashy or loud. She just has this quiet confidence that naturally draws respect and attention. And that's where the narcissist starts to lose their grip. What makes it worse for the narcissist is that Sigma females don't even want the spotlight. They aren't interested in competing for attention or trying to impress anyone. Yet somehow they effortlessly command admiration. This quiet magnetism leaves the narcissist feeling sidelined and insignificant, something their fragile ego just can't tolerate. They want to be the center of everything but next to a Sigma female's understated power, their usual tricks for gaining attention start to look desperate. The narcissist feels outshone in the worst way possible, not by someone trying to steal their spotlight, but by someone who doesn't even care about it, and that's the ultimate insult to their ego. Sigma females don't compete, they just are, and that simple fact makes the narcissist feel irrelevant. It's a blow to their self-importance they can't recover from, which is why they despise Sigma females so intensely. In the end, it's no wonder narcissists absolutely can't stand Sigma females. They run into someone they can't manipulate, outsmart, or control, and that's a blow their egos just can't handle. Sigma females aren't playing the game. They've left the arena entirely. They don't feed into the drama. They don't hand out admiration. And they certainly don't let anyone pull their strings. To a narcissist, this is like kryptonite, what really drives them crazy is that Sigma females do it all without breaking a sweat. They stay cool, calm, and completely unbothered while the narcissist flails, trying to regain some sense of superiority. 
It's like watching someone who's spent their whole life thriving on control suddenly realize they're dealing with an uncrackable code. No matter how hard they try, they just can't get a grip. So when a narcissist crosses paths with a Sigma female, it's not just frustration they're feeling, it's full-blown panic. They can't handle being irrelevant, and nothing makes them feel more invisible than someone who refuses to play their game. And that, right there, is why narcissists hate Sigma females to their core. Because while the narcissist's entire world is built on controlling others, the Sigma female is busy living in her own, untouched by their need for power. Thank you, Rare Gems, for tuning in. Stay vigilant as always to see you in our next video. God bless you.